Hey guys, um, here's a cool tutorial that will allow you to create iPhone app icons without having Photoshop. And you can do it within your browser, you just need an internet connection. And let's get started. Um, first you're going to need an image, any size. Um, I have an image I've created. Um, it's a 200 by 200 pixel. I don't know, it doesn't really matter as long as it comes. it's a square good image. Um, and it looks pretty good. Okay, so there's my image. So I'm going to go back to this website, www.flavorstudios.com slash iPhone dash icon dash generator. That will also be in the description and down at the bottom of your screen right now. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to click let's get started. Pretty self-explanatory. And first you'll see choose your button style. Um, first is the high gloss, low gloss, no gloss. High gloss with frame, low gloss with frame, no gloss with frame. I like the low gloss the bus and or the low gloss with frame. These are my two favorites, but you can choose whatever one you can play around with it. Um, and then you can choose the manipulation of the image. Um, you can pad the image, which will fit the entire image you want to get in there, but may pad it and you may have some like cropped edges which doesn't look as good as professional as crop image. I am going to do crop image because it looks pro more professional. Um, you can also check here to not to display my icon, which won't display it here to the public. I am not going to display mine because I really don't want anyone copying my image. Um, and I'm going to upload it. Now I have my image on the desktop right here and I'm going to upload it. And click open. And it will upload. It takes you a couple seconds depending on the size of the photo. So here's my icon. Okay, pretty nice. And so now you'll click download zipped images right there. Okay, right there. Then you want to open up the um, folder that you just downloaded. And you'll get these three folders. Doc, ICO, and PNG. Doc is just a readme file. Nothing really important in there. It really doesn't matter. ICO, as many of you might not know, an ICO is a for web developers and stuff like this is the favicon, which is a little icon that appears in someone's browser in the where the address bar is. Really, most of you guys won't need that, but um, this is the one you guys will be using. PNG. You will get two of them. You get Apple Touch Icon 256, which I'll open that, which is pretty big, and then you get. Apple Touch Icon PNG, which will be the size of an iPhone app. This is, if you're creating a theme, this is the size you'll use. Um, this one is for like a logo if you want it nice and big and you want everyone to see it. It's actually the exact same size as you can see is the one they showed in their web browser. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty easy and like uh, so easy a caveman can do it as they say. Um, if you have any questions about it and you're having any problems, uh, comment below and make sure to subscribe and check out iPhoneHelpSupport.com for more cool tips and jailbreak. See ya!